Just Stop Oil invaded Rishi Sunak's home the other day. And guess what? The police had them off the premises faster than you could say climate boiling. I'm Granny Opteryx. All right, I thought you might be interested in this. It says here, 16 people arrested after Just Stop Oil protest at Rishi Sunak's house. Activists gathered outside the Prime Minister's home in Kensington where they held banners and banged pots and pans. Now, uh, according to them, the protest group said that about 18 supporters, they call them supporters, uh, gathered outside Rishi Sunak's Kensington property and beat pots and pans while carrying placards stating, cop failure, crop failure. Oh, how frightfully witty and no rest for the wicked. I suppose that's Rishi Sunak and arrest the real criminals. And the real criminals are, of course, anyone they decide are criminals. Uh, now, uh, what happens? There were 18 supporters and 16 arrests. That means all but two uh, were, uh, well, banged up. Now, I don't know, in America, is that a bad expression? It means imprisoned or at least arrested here. Uh, so... According to Just Stop Oil, the police attended and detained the protesters at the scene with the Met officer later confirming 16 arrests. And, and look how pleased they are with themselves. A cop 28 cannot be a cop out. Oh, yeah, they're so good with words. COP28 and still no solutions. Yeah, that's because we don't have the technology to completely replace fossil fuels. What we have the technology for is to make the fossil fuels we have go further and do more at the moment. Yeah? Hmm. Still no solutions. There are no solutions by your lights, not by everyone else's. Oh, I shouldn't be talking about lights because we're better off in the dark, aren't we? Uh, charge him with genocide. All right, I think that might be Rishi Sunak, poor fellow. I have no brief for Rishi Sunak. I think he's a, he's a slime ball, personally, but that's just my opinion. The real criminals are uh, what? are not the peaceful protesters. Well, they don't sound very peaceful to me if they were banging pots and pans outside somebody's garden, quite frankly. But then they have a different interpretation of the word peaceful, don't they? Um, any politician who has the slightest desire to represent the interests of the British people would immediately ban all new licence for oil and gas in the UK, quite frankly. Any politician interested in the, uh, well, representing the interests of the British people would make sure little old ladies didn't freeze to death in their underheated homes. And that means more fossil fuel, I'm afraid. You see, have you noticed a lot of these people are quite young and probably healthy and they don't have uh, gammy knees and uh, kidney problems and eyesight problems and all the things that happen as you get older. In my case, back strain a lot of the time. And sometimes it's better to take a car than to have to try and struggle to a bus stop. Uh, I had a neighbour, unfortunately no longer with us, as she was blind. She had to use fossil fuels all the time to be ferried around. But, you know, these people don't seem to have any notice of that. Uh, community worker Pia Bastide, I think. I could mispronounce that in another way, but I won't. People with flooded homes can't sleep. Yeah, people who have flooded homes often have them because some greedy developer has built a lot of houses on a flood plain, a plain that the locals know floods every year and they don't care. They just build the houses the way they always build houses in the London streets, which have nice firm clay soil most of the time. Instead of thinking about how you deal, I mean, I'm not saying you can't build on a floodplain. You've just got to put the houses off the floor um, and you can do that. There's plenty of precedent for that. OK, so people with flooded homes can't sleep. And no, they can't. 
But that's not because of climate change most of the time. Children dying from starvation can't sleep. No, they can't. And this fossil fuel run world is feeding more people than it ever did. Mind you, uh, people died more then as well, so that you wouldn't have them. Um, you wouldn't have the starving children. They'd just be dead children in years gone by. And uh, yeah, I'm not saying you shouldn't do something for starving children, by the way. You know how angry I get about the mistreatment of children. Well, if you're new here, you don't. But if you aren't, then you, yeah, I'm frequently talking about that. Uh, communities staring down wildfires can't sleep. Well, yeah, you know, I'm trying to think of the last time I saw a wildfire uh, anywhere around here in England where I, you know, or uh, like, I'm not even sure about Scotland. Um, wildfire. Nope, can't think of wildfires here. And in California, where they do have wildfires, I have been given to understand by them as knows that the reason for the wildfires is mismanagement of the forests. Because these natural sort of idiot nature junkies are not allowing the, um, the curating of the forests anymore. And I'm interrupting myself here to remind you to click like, to subscribe and to share. And if you're on YouTube, remember to click the notification bell. All the links to my other channels are in the description, including links to donation sites. I'm always grateful for donations, of course, but just clicking like is the best thing you can do for this video and my channel generally. And I'm reminding you that the Christmas 2023 competition is now open. The link to the video telling you all about it is also in the description. And uh, they're also messing around with the water table as well. Uh, so the, the thing is, these guys are talking about technology, that it's bad. In fact, we need more technology. But they don't see that. They're after some sort of ideal, uh, I don't know what, butterflies and rainbows, um, Rousseauian uh, paradise that never existed and never will exist. Out, outside Genesis, of course. Uh, so why should climate criminals like Rishi Sunak get a peaceful night's sleep? Oh dear, Rishi Sunak is a climate criminal. I'll tell you what, he's a political criminal, but he's not a climate criminal. Um, oh, the well, protesters were joined by musician Louise Harris, who played her protest song, We Tried. Ah, well, I think that's probably worse. I haven't heard it, but I should think it's probably worse than Pots and Pans, frankly. Uh, it's previously reached number one in the iTunes singles chart. Oh, I'll definitely have to look that one up. Um, uh, number 10 has declined to comment. But what really interests me was this. Uh, we arrested 16, said the Metropolitan Police. They've been taken to a number of central London police stations where they remain in custody and inquiries are ongoing. So there they, they had uh, instant response and they arrested almost all of them. I, I, I can't think what happened to the... Uh, the other two. Maybe they just disguised themselves as trees and, and, and stood there like that or whatever and um, and escaped the attention of the police uh, because they, they found uh, Tommy Robinson, didn't they, quickly enough. Now, I just want to play you a couple of videos. I, I often do, don't I? Um, from about Just Stop Oil protesters. <laughs> Now, if you notice, the police aren't there. What's happening is that some ordinary citizens are pushing these guys out the way. Ordinary citizens pushed themselves beyond, uh, beyond patience uh, through these people, but no police. Okay, and then we've got this. Here we are. Hey. 
mean, see, again, I mean, that was really good behaviour. I wish more people had done that. But again, ordinary people have, well, taking the law into their own hands because they're not getting the backup of the police. And then there's this one. And this is actually a dangerous thing. <laughs> Yeah, did you see? You're all right, yeah. Did you see that? A car just uh, went straight through the protesters, just drove on. And this uh, young woman, I am assuming it's a young woman, was pushed to one side and this guy, so solicitous, you know, are you all right? Well, that's going to happen as people get more and more infuriated by these sorts of people and the police don't turn up to help. But they could help Rishi Sunak, of course. He got the instant treatment. OK, yep, that's all I have to say for today. Till next time. Why not treat yourself or a favoured relative or friend to these magnificent examples of merch? The mugs and t-shirts come in the Granny Opteryx design or Grambo with a firearm or the more deadly knitting needles. Go to www.grannyopteryx.com and whatever platform you're watching this on, please click like, subscribe and share, share, share.